Hello world, it's your girl Phoenix Novella, Boss Bitch Tips, and thank you for tuning in. This video is called When Adapting to Him Goes Wrong. Now sometimes compromising can get you the end results that you really want if you know how to do it and play the part in a way that doesn't make you lose all of your self-respect. Sometimes it is good to listen to another person's perspective and say, okay, you know what, I never thought like that. But in most cases, when we adapt to a person's behavior or the way they think or the way they do things and they say this is the way it has to be, usually we end up resenting them. Even if we do say yes and not and say, okay, yeah, I can conform for the time being. But there's a pot on the burner that's brewing and eventually it's going to boil over until in, into something that you really might not be proud of. Um... See, the cool thing about the human body is that it'll adapt to you and your bad behaviors. Let's say, you know, eating too much sugar, eating too much junk, eating too much meat, eating too much this, smoking, whatever. You're not getting enough sleep. And the body will work with you as long as it can. And it doesn't argue until it does. You know, that's how relationships are. You know, we get to a certain point where it's like, um... I think I've bent over enough in this relationship and I don't think I want to do it anymore. And the other person perceives it to be like out of the blue, you're acting up or you're changing when you've just never really said, this is how I feel. I don't think it's a good idea. And I think the first sign that somebody is expecting you to adapt too much to their, you know, to their behaviors or to their lifestyle, the way they want things to go is when you should be like, wait a minute, you know, this is a red flag because it usually doesn't get better after that. It usually doesn't go, you know what? The other person usually doesn't say, you know what? They really conceded to what I wanted. Now, let me be fair. That's not usually something somebody does right away. It's something that they do usually when they start to feel, okay, you know, I'm overbearing. I'm asking for too much. They start to feel the weight. They start to see little signs that you are kind of uncomfortable with the situation. And honestly, they don't, people in general, general don't really respect somebody who just cowers down to their every demand. And we want to be in a relationship with the person who we respect. You know, we want to be involved, talk about, you know, be seen with, grow from, learn with, live with the person that we actually feel. This is somebody who I want on my arm, who I can learn from, who I can grow, who I can teach how I, you know, we want to be proud of that person because we want to feel like we've actually met our match in some way. But it doesn't work that way when you're constantly giving, you're constantly giving, you're constantly conceding, you're constantly adapting, you're constantly being agreeable to situations that you may not think are the best for the union. I used to be that way. I used to be not a boss bitch. You know, I used to be somebody who just felt like the more agreeable I was to a guy in a relationship, the more he would like me. And yes, everybody likes somebody who flatters them. They like to keep you around because you make them feel good about themselves. But feeling good about yourself is not something that you should have to get from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's not love. Just because a person makes you feel good about yourself doesn't mean that you love them. Sometimes you can resent them because they're not challenging you or making you grow into a better person. And when it comes to men, you know, they hunt. They want to make sure that they're going out and they're, and, they're, and they're working their butt off for a woman that they're actually proud of having on their arm. And that woman is not all, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, I can, I, you know, they're, they're, they have their own, their own, their own opinions, their own thoughts, their own ideas. And Yes, guys sometimes don't want to play games and they want to just get the draws off and they want to have fun. But the woman who they marry, you know, the woman who they actually want to be in a long-term committed relationship with is a woman who sees them and addresses them and helps them grow and helps them see themselves and isn't afraid to be who she is, embraces her independence and individuality. That's very important, you know, and we... Sometimes we forget that, that we have to, that we like people who challenge us and we like to be around people who make us want to be our best selves. So don't be so quick to conform because usually you make a guy feel like you're not a challenge or a test at all and have 
no problem doing whatever he says, the next thing he gonna ask you is if you can give his friend some head. 